Welcome back to the Patrick Regan Show. Listening to a little Schoolhouse Rock. <laughs> Those of you old enough probably remember this from Saturday morning TV during cartoons time. And before you ask, yes, I have the whole collection. <laughs> All right. In this last segment, I want to talk about a story which most of you have already heard about. It's this Department of Homeland Security employee who was running the racist website in his spare time. Now, I'm going to give his name a shot, but I'm probably going to screw it up. <laughs> Io Kamathi, a small business specialist at the agency, is described as a, quote, gay bashing, revenge seeking black nationalist unquote, by the Southern Poverty Law Center. Not that I, I agree with those guys half the time, but this just happens to be one of those 50% that I do. <laughs> Mr. Kamathi runs the website, quote, War on the Horizon, under the username Irritated Genie. The site advocates properly educating black people to prepare for racial warfare. The site also states warfare is imminent, and in order for black people to survive the 21st century, we are going to have to kill a lot of whites, more than our Christian hearts can possibly count. Hmm. I don't remember hearing about that when I was growing up in uh, Sunday school. I guess maybe that was being taught in the advanced placement classes. <laughs> the, the whole killing of more whites than our Christian hearts can possibly count. <laughs> the site also describes white as a whites as a sadistic race of devils, it describes President Barack Obama as a treasonous mulatto scum dweller and says former Secretary of State Colin Powell and Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas are Uncle Toms. Now, being a rapidly growing show with a very astute and plugged in audience of listeners, we receive little news leaks here and there when stories like this make the headlines. If you were listening a few weeks ago, you heard audio from the Department of Natural Resources in Wisconsin. It's a story where they had to kill the wild deer being illegally held in the terrorist training camp known as the Society of St. Francis. It was an alleged no-kill animal shelter. It didn't fool anyone. Everyone knew it was a terrorist training camp for Al-Qaeda. They were working with the deer and other hoofed uh, animals, uh, showing them propaganda films, teaching them to look cute how to observe, plan, and carry out terrorist attacks. <laughs> you know, if you miss that segment, it's available on our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash Patrick Reagan Show. The segment's from the April 3rd show, and you can hear all the grisly details over there. Well, don't go now, though. Wait until this show's over. Then you can listen. Uh, go over when someone else's show was on. Um, you know, not that their show wasn't as good as mine, but, hey, we both know it's not. <laughs> all right, what we have here... We have this audio smuggled out that Mr. Kamathi was doing here at a venue, and it was sent to us so we could play it for you here. This is the concert audio, and uh, it was appearing years ago when he used to be with this band.
<laughs> oh, yes. I had so many clips to choose from from that story. <laughs> but in the end, we went with the classic Eddie Murphy and that sketch from Saturday Night Live. <laughs> if you want to hear the see the whole thing, we'll be putting that clip up or the uh, link up on our Facebook page. And we're up on the end of the show here. Speaking of the Facebook page, if you want to go to that, it's at facebook.com forward slash Patrick Riggins show. Facebook.com forward slash Patrick Riggins show. And Riggins is spelled R-I-G-G-I-N-S. You can also go to our YouTube channel. It's at, uh, oh, and be sure and hit the like button over there on Facebook. It'll keep you updated on our stuff. You can go to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Patrick Riggins Show. That's where all the archives are. And you can email us at, again, Patrick Riggins Show at gmail.com. Remember, liberty begins with you. Join me next Saturday afternoon at 4. We'll be fighting for freedom, liberty, and the restoration of the Constitution. Thanks for listening and have a great week. Join us again next week for a solid dose of truth on the Pet.